this is Emily Zlanian with TVInsider.com and TV Guide Magazine, and I'm here with Lisa Kudrow and Clea Duval of Fox's animated sitcom, House Broken. I'm Honey. I'm passionate about working on myself and peanut butter. You ate all that food because you were sad. Portion controls a bit. <laughs> no, I can say the B word, but you can't. So you're actually a creator on the show as well, um, in addition to voicing. Where did this crazy idea come from? Where did that start? Because <laughs> this is awesome. Well, it came from my uh, my obsession and then also very complicated relationship with uh, one of my cats uh, who is just constantly dissatisfied and I want nothing more than to make her happy, but I just don't know how. Um, and I started thinking about, you know, like, uh, what if we were able to go to therapy together? Like, what would she talk about? What are her issues? What's her perspective? Because I project so much of my own human stuff onto her, but there's no way that's what her experience is. And, you know, just started thinking like it would be such a funny idea for a show examining, you know, what, you know, what animals perspectives really are, what their experience is and, you know, what their problems would be and how they would talk about them. Lisa, if you can tell me a little about Honey and Clay, if you can tell me a little bit about Elsa. Honey is the, uh, the group leader. Uh, Honey's human Jill is a therapist. So I think Honey decided she's also endowed with those gifts. And um, she's a standard poodle, which means she's really smart and very elegant. And, uh, and she is not by choice coupled with uh, St. Bernard Chief that's voiced by Nat Faxon. And um, he mm, is so funny that I, he just makes me laugh out loud at that kind of, and you just, you know, that kind of dog, you know, these kinds of dogs, including, you know, Clea's dog, Elsa. Uh, I don't like the face you're making. Well, Elsa she, is... she wants to assert <laughs> herself as I'm yeah. just good and she's just not. <laughs> Well, Elsa, I mean, listen, Lisa's right. Elsa is, uh, she's a corgi who wears um, a fake service vest, but she doesn't realize it's fake. She, you know, she really takes it very seriously and is a know-it-all and really bothers. She, she like undermines, but then also worships honey. So it's, um, it's a very complicated relationship that they yeah. have, but yeah. Elsa thinks they're very close. And honey wants Elsa as far away from her as possible. It is obviously a little bit of a different approach to just voicing like a human character on television. How, what did you guys do differently? Like when approaching these characters that are not human, but have obviously a ton of human qualities and feelings and emotions because they're, they're still dogs. Yeah, I kind of stupidly uh, paid attention to my dog and tried to imitate her, you know, like growling and barking and all of that, which I still can't do <laughs> convincingly. Um. <laughs> Is there anything else that you guys want to say about Housebroken before people come to see the show on May 31st? It's really funny. It's really good. I know. I mean, I'm, I'm having a great time promoting it. It's easy because I love it. I can't wait for people to see Housebroken. Everyone go check it out. It premieres on Fox 9-8 Central on May 31st.